compromised and cracked credentials are vital tools in adversaries' arsenal. In this video, we will show how Picus Attack Path Validation compromises domain admin account with its intelligent adversary decision engine and password cracking features. The overview pane contains generic information about the assessment, including starting time, owner, and stager. In the included actions section, all enabled action modules for this assessment are listed. These actions can be used during the assessment as needed. All the executed action modules can be examined in the Activity Feed tab. These action modules are listed from bottom up in chronological order and contain information in detail. These details are the name of the action, the execution time, the computer on which it was executed, and findings as a result of the action. First thing first, the assessment flow starts by gathering information about the target domain. Then all gathered data are processed by the advanced decision engine to decide the executing next steps, which can be collecting more information or attempting to access another resource in the domain. Thus, the attack paths through to domain level privileges are created wisely. On the other hand, examining the map also reveals the relations between assets and findings in graph view that can be preferable to follow. The first node always shows the initial access system, which is workstation 16 in this case. Following the edges from the initial access system node reveals the findings, such as enumerated domain objects and servers. Clicking on the nodes provides the details in a side panel as well. Clicking on the credential node and edges shows that an encrypted ticket hash of the Kerberostable user, Diane Bird, is obtained via Kerberosting. Then this encrypted ticket is cracked via the offline password cracking feature to gather the plaintext password of user, Diane Bird. Then different edges have special tags, such as integrity change and user context change. Clicking on these edges will highlight the action in the activity feed for further information as well. Examining the details of actions reveals that a UAC bypass action was successful on the system Workstation 26. Further investigations also provide more details about the involved system and users throughout the assessment. Usage of other users and systems, such as Sisley Llewellyn, Derek Ortega, Workstation 26, and Server 02, can be seen from the graph as well. Even though this graph view provides a good overview of the assessment, the exact details of the attack path can be found from the attack path page. Before going through the attack path page, examining the offline password cracking feature pane reveals details of the password cracking processes. This pane can be accessed via clicking on the icon in the top right corner of the map. This item shows that password cracking process was executed for the encrypted ticket of the user, Diane Bird. It took two minutes and two seconds to crack the hash to gather the plaintext form of the user's password. Another example shows that this process was executed for the MS catch hash of the user, D admin, but due to the successful completion of the assessment, the offline password cracking process was not finished for this hash. The attack path page aims to summarize the actions that are taken to achieve the objective for the assessments. Beyond the statistical data provided in the right side section, executed actions and their findings are crucial to see the attack path as a whole. This example indicates that only seven steps were sufficient to achieve the objective from the initial access user and system. In the initial steps, domain level enumeration steps were performed to find out as much information as possible. The first card reveals detailed insights into how much of the collected data was instrumental throughout the assessment. Overall, information related to two workstations, one server, and four user accounts was used to successfully compromise the system. Kerberostable users were identified in the early stages of domain enumerations. Kerberosting attack vector was used to acquire the encrypted service ticket of the user, Diane Bird. Then the offline password cracking feature successfully cracked the encrypted ticket to obtain the plaintext form of the password. UAC bypass technique is used to increase the integrity of the process that provides to perform privileged actions on the system. High privileges are often required to perform certain techniques, such as credential access and lateral movement. During the session enumeration steps, information. The user Diane Bird has administrative privileges on the system Workstation 26 was uncovered. 
Thus, the credential of the user Diane Bird was used to access the system Workstation 26. During the LSAS credential dumping step, the MS Cache hash credential of the user Sisley Llewellyn was obtained. Because the MS Cache hash credentials cannot be used directly for authentication, the offline password cracking feature cracked the hash to retrieve the plain text form of the password. By the way, MS Cache hashes are used to store domain credentials for user authentication locally in case of domain inaccessibility. One of the findings during the session enumeration steps was that the user Sisley Llewellyn has administrative privileges on the system server 02. Thus, the credential of the user Sisley Llewellyn was used to access the system server 02 to gather as much as possible information related to users' privileges on different endpoints. Advanced Decision Engine performs session enumerations after every new domain user's credentials are obtained. Upon laterally moving the system server 02, the LSAS credential dumping technique revealed the NTLM hash of the user Derek Ortega, who has domain level privileges in the target domain. Thus, assessment was concluded as successful due to achieving the objective. As seen, the ticket obtained using the curb roasting attack vector was cracked using offline password cracking, and the obtained password was used for lateral movement to another system. The password of another user obtained from this system was also cracked using offline password cracking, leading to access to another system and ultimately capturing the domain admin user. This summary can be observed through the Attack Path tab. That wraps up our demonstration of how Picus Attack Path Validation compromises domain admin with its password cracking feature. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into how Attack Path Validation can effectively replicate real-world attack scenarios without harming your production environment. Stay safe and secure, and I will see you in the next video.